Hey y'all, this is Jessica at Casa Magnolia and today I am so excited to be participating in the DIY floral challenge hosted by Heidi Sonbel at Happily Thriving Heidi and Lindsay from Domer Home. This is the second time they've co-hosted this challenge and I will be sure and put all the links down below so that you can see both of their channels, the full challenge playlist for the summer and uh, my spring video that I did for this challenge. When Lindsay and Heidi described this challenge, they told us that they wanted us to think outside of the box, so I decided to think outside of the vase. And today I'm going to share with you a couple of my favorite ways to display flowers around my house that aren't in your typical vase. My absolute favorite way to display flowers in my house is by using ice buckets or champagne buckets. And I don't just use them for flowers, I use them for utensils in my kitchen and stuff. But you can find these at garage sales, antique stores, resale shops flea markets and Goodwill. This is my whole collection. I have one copper colored ice bucket and two that are um, like silver plated champagne buckets. My favorite flowers to put in these are a potted orchid. Mine is a faux orchid because I cannot keep flowers alive, but this adds a little extra oomph to your potted orchid rather than just the plain pot that it comes in. So these are some silver sugar bowls that were passed down from my great grandmother. Well, the one on the left is a sugar bowl anyway. I'm not entirely sure what the other one is, but I'm assuming it's some kind of serving bowl or sugar bowl. And I think these are so perfect for just a little low arrangement that you might have on a side table or nightstand. Um, I think I like them to be the tarnished look. I think that, you know, adds some interest to it. But of course, you can shine them up if you wanted to. Um, I love the details. The little footed one, I love that one. And then I also love the details with the, on the one with the handles um, and the little rope detailing on there. Here I've used faux succulents to really add a natural element and ground such a fussy piece. I love the juxtaposition between the kind of natural and desert element and modern element of succulents compared to the silver and ornate sugar bowl. And finally, this is a crystal juice glass. I'm telling you, you can find these a dime a dozen at the thrift stores or garage sales. Now, what's great about using this as a small little bud vase is that you don't have to find the whole entire matching set at the resale shop because you're probably not going to be able to find the full matching set at the resale shop. But if you find one special glass, this is a great way to use it. Um, I think it would be perfect in your powder bathroom or on a nightstand, on your vanity, a makeup table. The cut glass or crystal design really adds a little bit of a more visual interest than your other typical bud vases might have. And the size is perfect for any extra leftovers from old arrangements or just a couple flowers to buy at the grocery store instead of having to buy a full dozen roses. I'm showing it here in my powder bathroom and yes this is a faux peony just to show you guys because I couldn't get out and get any real flowers but I just think it's so cute you just only have to have the one really to um, show it off and it adds a little nice element for your powder bath so those are just a couple of different ideas for you to put flowers around your house in something other than a vase I'd love it if you would leave me a comment down below letting me know what is your favorite unusual vessel to put flowers in around your house. Thanks to Lindsay and Heidi for hosting this challenge and I cannot wait to see everybody else's video. I'll talk to you next time. Bye.